Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back here to Minecraft on the Iris server. You catch me in my little storage area, which I still haven't moved. And I've just been admiring my new banner, which admittedly is a little bit fuzzy around the edges, but it looks much, much nicer from a distance, I find. Yep, I have a Gullen banner. Now, I did post this on twitter a little while ago and a lot of people asked me how i made this so i'm going to start off by doing just that so first thing you need to do is make yourself a black banner which you do with six pieces of wool and a stick it's a bit like making a sign so you take that banner and the next thing you do is you get some bone meal which you can get easily by just putting bones in a crafting grid and then it becomes bone mill. So we'll put the bone, the, the, the banner there and we put three bone down the middle and we get a white stripe. That's called a white fess. The next step is to put some red in and what we're doing here is a red per fess inverted. So we're just putting red at the bottom there. But we don't want red all the way at the bottom, so we just put some white at the bottom as well. So we now end up with uh, a white base fess. And the final thing we want to do... Uh, sorry, not quite the final thing yet. The next thing we want to do is this one, which is putting a white border around it. And as you can see, it's actually starting to look a little bit duck like uh, gullen like now, isn't it? Right, but we want to put the uh, the beak on, which we do this way. We put the banner at the bottom like that, put some yellow across, and there we go. We now got the beak. And one final step. The eyes are a bit too big, so we just put some white at the top. That is a white chief fess, apparently. And there we have we have a new banner. Our very own Gullen. That, there you go. Okay, there's been a few changes, so I just want to have a do a, a very, very quick tour. And then we will get on to this episode's build, which is going to be a, a little bit of a... Um, just a little bit of an expansion build, to be totally honest with you. There's a, a project I want to do. Well, there's many, many, many projects that I want to do, as you're all aware, no doubt aware but this one requires a little bit of building too so I'll show you that in a second I just want to show you a couple of new buildings first because they are all looking really nice uh, if we run out the back here first something I oh actually do it's just gonna take me a second so I shall just see you in, in a sec Yes, it seems that Melody Flower felt that what this server needed was a bit more Damien, so that's exactly what we got. <sighs> I'm tempted to tunnel down to see if I can find the rest of the character underground. Yes, let's move swiftly on. Just passing along the back of a. Uh the town now you can see the uh, the walls from the outside and there's Melody Flower's other new building she's been rather busy recently so let's go and have a quick look at that one and it's here she hasn't revealed what she's going to be doing with it yet but she has put uh, this up on her channel so I, I don't feel uncomfortable showing it to the world and it's it's a classic Melody Flower building it's very organic I and mean, if you look over at her cake shop over there you can really see the style emerging here and I think this is this is marvelous so she's got you know it's a wooden structure the walls are leaves there's some glass in here that gives a nice counterpoint if we go inside it's mostly pens so Whatever she's going to be doing, it's probably going to involve animals, but this is Melody Flower, so who's surprised? There you go, nice little place. I don't know if I showed you all this. 
but we moved the sheep. The sheep were there, but they're now down here in nice little color-coded sections. So we have brown and gray. We have black and white. Uh, actually, we have white and gray. <laughs> okay. And, oh yes, we have black and blue. There we go. Black and blue in there. And all the rest are stored down this row here in colors that... I wonder how you guys are getting out. We shall have to look into that. But here you go. In color pairs. And I think it's looking really good. See that hole over there? We'll be there in a minute. Right. Okay. I want to do two things today. One is that. And the other one I shall show you in just a second. And it involves this tower that we are running towards right now. So let's get in there. This is going to be uh, my new storage room, base of operations, planning area, things like that. This is part of the walls. And I made this a while ago, uh, wanting all the time to move into it, but uh, not really finding use for it. But I think I have now. And the first thing I'm going to do is use this wall here. I just want to start putting up some plans because you know I've got so much that I want to do I just want to start writing on the walls here you know exactly the things that I want to do so I want to put the four things I can the, the things I consider most important here and my backlog plans here uh, so that will you know, just give us a um, an idea of the things that we can do, the things that are coming up. So the most important one at the moment for me is finish the walls. So let's put that up here. So finish the walls, and that is a, a that's quite a lot done actually. To be totally honest with you, uh, the next one is spawn towers two. Because, well, let me show you. This big area here where the tree farm used to be, that is going to be another tower block like that, perhaps a bit larger, made out of different materials, and I'm going to put a, a shop at the bottom of it. So that one will be fun. Okay, what else is important at the moment? Um, okay, um, landscaping. Iris. I'll go into that one in a second. And finally, uh, right, the so finally, I want to do a potions brewer because I've been promising someone that for months. So those are the four most important things to me at the moment. Let's do that one again because I'm anal. Right, uh, landscaping. Iris. Yeah, the problem I have with Iris at the moment is it's on too many layers. So what I want to do is actually move um, some of the stuff. I want to move the... Yeah, if you can just see it over here. You see that that uh, per, that shop there, the, um, the magical item shop, and there's the courtyard behind it. I want to take those two and move them down one level, and the roads attached to them down one level. And then everything's going to look flatter and nicer. So that is a priority for me. Um, Alright, so stuff on the back burner. We have... Roads in Iris. We've laid a lot of them out. I haven't put the stones down yet. That one's an important one to me. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, a new village I'll show you a bit more of that later on and I have run out of signs have I? oh good lord okay right where's my crafting bench there's my crafting bench let's stick that in there like that and do I have any word? I have some word that will give me a few signs that will do the trick I think yeah, six signs. Okay, so a new village is another important one. Um, what else? 
Um, gatehouses. Okay. The walls need gatehouses. The gatehouses haven't really been designed yet. Um, so are we doing that? Okay, a new home is something I want to do. And what else? Okay. Um, out of town build. I've got a place that looks really, really good. I've got an idea of what I want to do. I have had it for about a year, to be totally honest with you. I actually haven't got round to it. So that is something that is important to me. What else? Oh, yes. Rail line to Moo Moo Land. Okay. Um, there's the, the Moo Moo Land is where we got the mushrooms from. Where there's um, uh, a sea temple that I've been dismantling nearby, and I, I want to put that on the railway line. And uh, which reminds me, rail line. Lint, rail lint, rail line to jungle. The jungle is about 12, yes, about 12,000 blocks from here, and I'm sick of walking it. And finally, because I think that's enough plans for now, what else do I want to do? Oh, yes, mobs bits. Mobs bits there we go that looks better i've got a lot of stuff ready for that i just need to put the uh the, the shop together and that actually is actually going to tie in with where is it there we go spawn towers too once that's done i can start putting that in because that's the shop i want to put on the bottom it's turning out to be too big to where i wanted to put it so there we go so there's my plans and these are the short-term ones and this is what we're going to be concentrating on over the next few weeks and the next few episodes and the thing I'm going to be working on at the moment is kind of related to that and kind of related to that and it is I need to build a new tunnel and the tunnel is going to be out here in fact we saw it a moment ago so I think this is montage time
Okay, there we go. Short and sweet. So... Doesn't look very good, mine, though, does it? So the next thing we need to do is make an area of this look a bit pretty. But before I do that, I just want to show you guys something. And those of you who follow some of my other series may like this. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch some of my other series. But anyway, this is going to be where I'm going to build a new village. It's going to be through here and it's going to be on this nice big plains here. Uh, I won't go into the details just yet because I'm still thinking about them but it's going to be a town hall there. House is down here. Nice green bit through the middle and going down here I'm going to put in a port and put some fishing boats and things like that and we're going to call it Mazumba and it's going to link through over there so those are the plans this is the reason why I'm building this bridge I'm gonna make this uh, the bridge I'm gonna building this tunnel I'm gonna make it and then I'll probably forget about it for a little bit because I've got so many other things to do but I just wanted to get it done because yeah it's it's another project that needs to ticking off the list if nothing else and I've got so many things that I want to do so here we have we have this nice tunnel through here and it looks absolutely grotty at the moment really doesn't it uh, so I think what we want to do here is let's have a little bit of a tunnel tunnel beautification shall we and I think we shall do it down this end it only makes sense really doesn't it so let's put a bit of dirt in there for a sec just to make that look neater uh, yeah, right. so Let's get some of this dirt back. Want the uh, the the bridge to act. That's keep on saying bridge. But I want the tunnel to actually start somewhere, and it will start here. And we'll do the same over this side as well. Let's just put that back a couple of layers like this, and get rid of the stone. this we do it yet yeah, we want to go back one more layer and I think I'm gonna to need to go up the top to do it All right, so let's just pop up the top of this bridge no, the bridge why do I keep on saying bridge good lord this tunnel pop up at the top here and we shall dig our way down I think this is where I want to be Ooh, coal, I've just run out. How useful. So, later on I'll come in and I shall actually move all this stuff back and just make it look a bit smoother. Uh, but at the moment what I want to concentrate on is the tunnel. Yeah, there you go. Tunnel itself. And I think the first thing I want to do is I left them behind so let's go and get some some fences some gates let's grab some chicken on the way through there you go. all this sprinting is making my character peckish back up here let's have a quick look in here there's some fences, there's some gates, that's exactly what I want. So I just want to stop this being a thoroughfare for mobs through. It's unlikely they're actually going to follow it all the way through, but it's possible. And let's, let's just block it off while we concentrate on the far end, making that look pretty. So here we'll do. Get rid of the dirt, get rid of the chicken, some fences, some gates. So we put a fence there. Fence there and a couple of gates in the middle there you go. that'll allow people to go through if they want to while stopping mobs and now let's have a quick look at this place uh, just 
take the edge off here and I'm thinking that we'll make the front of this in let's try polished diorite see how it looks so let's polish some of this up there we go and let's just pop this on like this like this Yeah, just framing the tunnel like that we'll have a road coming through in here I shall probably keep the same sort of cobblestone other stone mix that I do for the other the rest of the roads around the bottom here so I won't do that just just now but let's have a quick look here one one two three four five two three four five yeah that works doesn't it okay so we want to take out the minute in inner three one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and we want two holes there. Let's see how this works. I want that. I want that. Oh yes, and I want that. There we go. That's what I want. So we put a jack o' lantern there. that and we'll just put some glass in like that okay let's do another one of those so jack-o-lantern just check the light levels here let's see how they drop so this is 11 now and if I put a block there it goes down to 9 That's still nine and that's still nine okay that's all right let's take that one off that gets a bit too low so let's try doing the same thing over this side three four five six seven eight nine one two and then we put the jack-o-lantern in there it goes up to eleven drops to nine piece of glass okay that's a nine yeah I think that's actually going to provide us with enough light funny enough so let's just do a one more here okay one two and then that like that and a bit of glass in the middle there just to let the light through not quite bright enough is it mm, let's try something here let's up the number of no it's not providing quite enough light is it so well that's okay I'll just have to put some ceiling or floor lights in won't I which is not the end of the world to be totally honest with you but that's yeah that's almost enough light yeah not quite though that will still summon mobs so let's put uh, so what do I think of these colors before I do anything else uh, let's try something like that there that's that light is much better okay I think that's how we're gonna do it so let's just do the rest of them like that. Want the uh, the jack o' lantern facing this way, so we're not seeing the face. But uh, other than that, I don't think that looks too bad, does it? Yeah, I can live with that. Right, let's do these two as well then. Like 
that. Yeah, that looks better. Nearly done. Okay, let's check the light going through here. Yeah, that. Okay, yeah, while we're between the lights, that is perfectly good. Right, so that's that's the lighting for this place done. Now I've got to ask myself, do I like the colours? I'm not especially fond of the stone and the orange. I want to keep the orange. So let's try something here. Just try some ordinary diorite as opposed to polished. Okay, yeah, that's looking that's looking a bit livelier, isn't it? Let's break it up with a few more colours as we go through. I'm thinking perhaps if we take out these core oh let's try that. And just put some orange clay in there and just break the pattern up. Okay, not completely sold, but it doesn't look too bad. I might change this in the long run, but I think this will do for now. So we'll have like that. Just just breaking the pattern up a little bit. Yeah, I okay, I think that's that'll do for now. So we'll have these ones out here. Like this. This, like this, and all that's left now is the ceiling. And what do we do with that? I'm, I'm actually feeling I like the stone at the moment, so I'm going to leave that as a just plain smooth stone. Yeah. There we go, the bridge to Mazumba. The bridge, the tunnel! The tunnel! The tunnel to Mazumba. I will get that right one day. I will get that right one day. But there we go, that is our pathway through. I shall finish that off between episodes. That's another job ticked off the list. We'll get the road put through as well. So, there you have it. Another bit of building work done on the fair town of Iris, and I desperately need to look at this problem. I think, I think it is actually the weight of um, the weight of sheep inside these pens is actually getting some of them to glitch through the blocks. And if that is the case, and if you look at the colours, it does seem to be it's the ones with lots and lots of sheep in the pens are causing the problems. So I get the feeling that this problem will actually rectify itself in a short period of time. And if that results in having too few sheep, we'll just have to move them to larger pens, won't we? Like this one. Yeah. So, there you have it. Another episode of Minecraft in Iris. I do apologise that it's been so long since the last one of these. And I'm hoping that I will get back to a regular broadcast schedule on this game now. Uh, having a couple of new people start on the server has, I think it's given me a new lease of life with this with this one and I'm, I'm getting back onto some of the big projects and I'm getting really fired up and really excited about doing things and ah, there we go. I was wondering though, is the large orange beak floating in the sky? But never mind, okay. So that's it for now, let's stop here in the park because I like the park. I 
shall say. Farewell, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope to see you all again next time. Until then, bye-bye.